Good morning. Day two at Kapakale. It's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. para madilim pa rin, Look at that mosque. Okay. We're ready. Marlon, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask for breakfast. It's going to be a very beautiful day today. Ciao. Freshness. I'm not really a morning person, even though my present full-time job requires me to work early in the morning. And so, I don't eat breakfast. But mind you, I love to eat, and I eat a lot. But here in this turkey trip, who would say no to a marvelous buffet breakfast? We were told by our tour director that it is going to be a long day today, so I'd better have a heavy breakfast. And of course, since we're here in Turkey, I think 90% of the food in the buffet are Turkish, which the majority consists of vegetables and fruits. So, if vegan ka, solve the solve ka dito. The hotel is full of people, mostly tourists like us. Turkey is one of the first to lift COVID restrictions to welcome tourists from countries around the world. Kaya naman, dagsaan talaga ang mga turista. And if you notice, people here don't wear masks anymore. So, if you're thinking if this is the same Troy that you watched in the Brad Pitt movie or the Asian place that was tackled in your history subject back in high school, then the answer is yes. This is the actual land of Troy. And that huge wooden horse that you see there is a replica of the famous Trojan horse that the ancient Greeks used to penetrate the walled city of Troy. So we just didn't come here just to see the wooden horse. We also wanted to see the actual walled city of Troy, which of course is just now the remains, the ruins. But even though what you see here are just the ruins, still it is enough to tickle your imagination of how the city would actually look like during its glory days. Personally, me, I got shivers down my spine as I explore this archaeological site because I am a big fan of ancient Greek mythology. And now, I am stepping on the very actual place that I just read and marveled about when I was just a boy. There are so much to learn about this wasted Troy city, from its rich history to the layout of the ancient city itself. It pays to get a tour guide to show you around the great city of Troy. Okay. It's kinda cool right now, it's like 18 degrees, so it's cool, but the sun is so high. So in other words, <laughs> but God, the view, the view is amazing. <laughs> In ancient times, specifically Greek cities and eventually Roman cities, the public bath and amphitheater are a must have. So, here in the rubble, you see the remains of the amphitheater. 
at least it survived after over 2,000 years. I can compare the ruins of the ancient city of Troy to the Stations of the Cross, in the sense that in every stop there is an interesting story for us to hear, like how this or that area is vital to the city. But hey, time to move on. Finish harvesting the crops from the olive trees. The major income of the people living in such kind of small areas, all based on such kind of gardens. The agriculture, actually, agriculture was one of the major. Our next stop is Bergama, where we will be having our lunch. But before lunch, we stopped over a quaint coffee shop, which is also a shop that sells different olive oil products. After all, Bergama has many olive oil factories. This is the Nazar Bonju, or Evil Eye. It is a charm to protect your loved ones from someone casting the evil eye on them. It is actually the most popular souvenir in Turkey. What is that? That's a Harem Skincare Serum with Lavender Oil. What is that for? What does it, what does it smell? Lavender. Of course it's lavender, but what? Yeah. Okay, so after almost three hours of traveling from Chanakale, uh, we're now here in Bergamo to have our lunch. So we're gonna have um, a traditional, what do you call it traditional, but yeah, but uh, can I think, yeah, authentic uh, Turkish delicacy, which we call kebab. <laughs> so, oh God, I'm so hungry, let me just show you. Yeah, but I did not know what, what, they're, what they are called. So these are, I don't know. The a pizza bread. I thought they are pizza. Ah, yeah, it could be pizza. And then we have salads. Salads. Is this egg? No. No, it's like yogurt. 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 Wow. And this. Oh, chickpeas. Chickpeas. Garbanzos. Like garbanzos. Garbanzos. Okay. Okay. So I'll try this pita. That looks like a pizza. Pita bread. Mm. Love it. Cheese pizza. Oh, okay. I'll get one. Yeah. Taste it. Taste it. It's very good. Okay. I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Yeah, everything is delicious. Very good. I love the cheese, isn't it? So for Marlon, he's getting a. What are you having? A beef kebab. Non spicy. Okay. But siempre, picture, picture, Muna. <laughs> so, what I ordered is a lamb kebab. Because. We don't have lamb in the Philippines. So, meron man, I don't not sure with the quality. So, sabi nga nila, ito, so you never get wrong ordering a um, lamb kebab. So, let me just, I know, taste one really quick. So, it's like buri may rice. I've been craving for rice. Mm. Oh. I need to put yogurt. Put yogurt down. Ah, I'm good. Okay, and, and for dessert, I'm having baklava. Uh, Turkey is very famous for this uh, sweet dessert. So, meat Mm. Uh, I get this right up. Okay. Yeah, it's really nice. Wow. Uh, 
Hi, here we are in Bergamo and we're heading to Acropolis. See that? Good thing they have cable cars. So we're gonna go climb up that hill the easiest way around possible thanks to these cable cars. Done, we need a cable car. Are you okay? <laughs> Marlon here has aquaphobia. Last stage. Last stage. Last stage. Yeah, we can fit in. Just take care of each other. Yeah. <laughs> One of Turkey's most impressive archaeological sites, the Acropolis in Bergama, dramatically sits on top of a hill to the northeast of the town center. How high the hill is? I forgot to ask, but it looks pretty much high to me. Just look out there, the landscape looks like they were taken by a drone. Which FYI to all ye drone pilots like me, drones are not allowed to fly at all archaeological slash historical sites in Turkey, which is quite a shame really because the views a drone may capture can just be unbelievably breathtaking. We are now in the Acropolis. Acro means high or top, while polis means city. Thus, Acropolis literally means city at the top. But why would the ancient Greeks build a city on top of a hill? Kapagut kaya umakyat baba. Well, from both a religious and a military standpoint, a hilltop site was highly desirable. Military wise, because an Acropolis had to be a fortress, a citadel, protecting a city. And religion wise, because a hill was imbued with natural richness that denoted the presence of the gods. So, these rocks that you see here is. It's a marble. Mm -hmm. Marm, marm. It's a Tagalog marmon. And the good thing about here is that, you know, the sun is very high in it. Even though it's like uh, 18 degrees now, but then feel na feel na yung init, tagus talaga. Pero if you touch this marble, lamig. Ma ano siya? Hindi siya ma init. Parang hindi niya hindi na trap yung init dito. Mm -mm. Okay. It's really cool. Yendo That's why uh, the Romans really love this kind of stones. Wow, Nganda. Roman pillars. Which is like over 2000 years old. This place is big because, yeah, it was supposedly a city. I just don't know how big it is. Maybe we can Google that later. Anyway, this place offers plenty to see with ruins large and small scattered over. Here we checked out the Temple of Trajan, the Altar of Zeus and Athena, and the 10,000-seat Hellenistic theater overlooking to the plain of Pergamon, which is now the modern Bergama city. This place is very Instagrammable, perfect for postcard type of photos or for your next stunning social media profile picture. We'd love to explore more, but alas, we ran out of time and evening is about to come and we needed to head to our next destination, which is Kusadasi for dinner and overnight stay at the Neopol Hotel. It was 7.30 p.m. when we reached the beach resort town of Kusadasi. I love the hotel where we are going to spend the night. We're tired now. 
The day was spent visiting various archaeological sites. For now, I just have only one thought in my mind. Yes, dinner. Hi, so we're here at Kusadasi. So this is our like our second dinner for the journey here in Turkey. So look what I have here. Ta-da! Mediterranean food. I mean this there's a buffet. It's a buffet actually, so the weird thing is that uh the food items are not labeled. No label at all. So I but I did I just just pick a piece of, of every meal. So like for example, this is I, I think this one looks like a fruit salad. <laughs> this might be yogurt. This is cauliflower. And then this is maybe tuna, tuna salad and we have beans here. And I think this is okra with tomato. Marlon, what are you having? Mm. Everything. Everything. Okay, and the soup. Like what is this soup? We have lemon for the soup. Have you tried the soup? Mm. I'm having round two. I have to taste everything because I'm for the experience. Turkish food, or may I say, in my opinion, Mediterranean food for most of them, they are not as flavorful as Filipino food, which is sa Filipino food, lasang lasa mo ang asim, ang tamis, ang alat ng pagkain. Dito, sakto lang. But let me clarify, Turkish food are not bland, huh? I don't think they use MSG, and their food are not as oily as ours. Here, even after eating a lot, I don't feel bloated. Hindi mabigat sa chan. Dessert. Try this one. Ani It looks like mashed potato to me. Is that a dessert? White leche flan. Well, good. Yeah, but is it a leche flan? It's like makapuno. Makapuno. Okay. And then the blue one. This one. This is it's not blue. Is it okay? Now that our stomachs are full, it's time now to go to our hotel room and rest. But first, let me show you our room. Wow. <laughs> So this hotel is like a bit resort type of hotel, no? Because there's a pool outside. Look, can you show them the pool that we have outside? See, the pool is ours. Instant access to the pool. We have instant access to the pool, and of course, we let's do the banyu check. The, the bathroom is always very important for me. Banyo check first. Wow, It's like a fondant, no? Ah, pero para matas na naman ang mga ano? It's dirty. You just need something to step. Mm. I also like this part. If there's a table. Can have this. We work, can have like a work from home, no? What? <laughs> uh, work from home. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. If you wish to visit Turkey and experience the things you see in my vlogs, email me at sefcute at hotmail.com. Be sure to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below. Now, please watch day three next. Preview follows.
the lady. Lady with many snake hair. <laughs> yeah, video. Yeah. So you find on YouTube. Video, ten dollars. Oh, okay. Third. Stop on this. Oh God. I don't know if you can see it, but they're all hiding up. And you know what? In Turkey, there are a lot of askals around everywhere. Everywhere you go, there are askals. I mean, wandering dogs. I mean, so we tried some uh, Turkish snacks. So what? Uh, you need mix, extra mixed nuts and.